guys welcome back to a brand new disney heroes batman video you can see here we've got gogo -Go tomaga up and that's because she has been leaked as a brand new character who's coming eventually as an update normally all of the characters who end up on wakatu do end up coming into the game so i want to give a shout out to cookie kermit and jai for bringing this to my attention and let me know that we do have this awesome new character and if I was going to compare this catch to anybody, it would certainly be Dash. Like, there's no middle ground there. It, it, Go goes basically an updated version of Dash. Now, I'm not going to stop working on Dash due to that. I'm still certainly going to wait. Um, but yeah, Dash is here and obviously is looking relatively cool. So that's quite a nice thing, really, to see Dash there. And to be able to go through and get them leveled up as much as possible. So obviously we smashed the guild contest as well, guys. We still have three days. So even the guild contest is going on for seven days now as well. So yeah, you, you can see everything's going well. I wonder, if, I wonder if we've got any more diamond crates here, guys. So we do have um, 120, 70, 70, 70. And obviously those were from the guild thing. So I've got 330 diamond crates, which again is ready for for this weekend's video where I like to do my diamond crate videos for my brother over the weekend but yeah so all in all guys it, it's going well I haven't got too much to worry about just still slowly cruising through everything guys smashing through collecting my gold collecting my everything and all is going pretty well which is obviously brilliant and the guild I'm in is absolutely killing it so yeah brilliant okay so let's actually jump in now and review GoGo. -Go. So here she, well, we obviously don't get to see what she looks like yet, but we have her stats here, guys. So core stats don't really matter because that's just depending on what level she's on. With a need for speed, Gogo -Go whizzes through enemy lines, dealing damage with her mag discs and just a little bit of attitude. So she does sound like she's actually going to be very, very good. So let's jump straight into her skills. So her main special. Now, again, I'm pretty certain if we were to compare this with Dash, we're going to see a lot of... Um, the same types of things here. So let's bring Dash's move up here, right? So what you can see here is Gogo -Go skates through the enemy line seven times and strikes the enemy with the most remaining HP. So it's a little bit different here because um, she's going to go through seven times where Dash goes through, well, it's not particularly that different. And it's probably the same because it's easier for them to make. They've just basically copied Dash and turned her in, turned him into a woman. But yeah, I'm not complaining. But that does mean that there is potential that you can have two dashes on your team now, which is going to be devastating. So yeah, it basically the same move as Dash, but she targets the person with the most HP, which I do quite like the idea of because that means everybody with the most HP is going to be absolute drained. Now, I cannot wait to try her out and it's going to be ridiculous when she comes out. I, I'm already fully imagining it being absolutely mental. Then we've got Spark Spray. Go go dashes forward and scrap, scraps, scrapes? Sorry. <laughs> she dashes forward and scrapes to a stop. So basically, and breaks. This, oh, that's cool. Then the sparks spray enemies. So it's basically like she's going to drift on like a pair of skates, basically, dealing ridiculous amounts of the true damage to enemies in front of her. Now, it doesn't say who she targets. So I don't know how many enemies would end up being in front of her here. Because if she attacked the person at the front and was shooting that like um, stuff all the way across, that's pretty solid, to be honest with you. If she's going to grind to a halt, spray sparks, and they're going to go, go across everybody, we're looking at a really, really cool move there to hit everybody and just drain them. I imagine that's going to absolutely drain them. It's quite a cool move. Double disc throw. Gogo -Go throws both of her discs, obviously those are the ones on her arms, at the two enemies with the most energy. Ooh. That. <clears throat> that is very, very good. So that could potentially stop Kermit. That could stop Claw. Well, I mean, it could stop anybody, but I'm just putting some examples, which would be quite nice to stop. So if she threw that at the right time and it pushed back, like Kermit, he's not going to use a special. That's not going to put the invincibility on everybody. So we are looking at that being very, very good. A very, very good amount of damage there. And the fact it removes 33 
percent of energy is rather ridiculous as well then we've got zero resistance gogo deals eight but okay i should just say x amount of damage obviously depending on their level again guys with speed skater to the enemies above six percent of their max hp so she's dealing true damage as well as oh my goodness no come on that move is absolutely ridiculous she's true uh, that's gonna deal so much damage guys if it's gonna do basic damage and true damage when she runs through so enemies who are above 60 percent do basically get an extra hit of damage which is quite cool which is good because obviously she targets enemies with the most hp so the majority of the time she'll probably always hit somebody who's over that threshold which is quite cool and then we've got um fast and fierce when gogo deals true damage to an enemy she also removes what she removes 99 energy basically that's all that would almost be like what half of the energy bar the last enemy gogo strikes with speed scales and is instead the enemy with the least hp and she deals no 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 that's ridiculous so she's gonna do an extra 60 percent of damage on top of that damage and then she deals even more true damage to them on the enemy with the least health so she's going to hit six enemies and then the seventh enemy she hits is the one with the least health which is brilliant because that is probably going to mean an instant kill and then they're going to lose all that power obviously i know this is maxed out guys but then look, look at that true damage skill power max hp so that is going to be a very 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 ridiculous character now i guess the main thing that probably will let her down will be her health and stuff but what I've got to say here is that we are really seeing, really seeing some mental damage. That's obviously one of her moves as well, where she throws her disc. So we are seeing a lot of crazy damage here, which is going to be, well, to be honest with you, which is very, very exciting to see this character in use. Obviously, we've got to wait a little bit because we don't have that option there yet. But there is so much potential for damage to be done here. And I'm very, very excited to see what that's going to be like. So, guys, do comment down below and let me know who, you know, if you're, well, let me know what you think of her, basically. What teams would you use her in? Um, so, if we were to, obviously, I've reviewed her skills very quickly here. Now, as far as it goes buff-wise, guys, um, because she's a damage character... And I know this game sometimes doesn't make sense with the characters they add. But normally a damaged character is going to have least HP and be quite a squishy character. So I'd recommend putting her on with Kermit. Um, Animal to speed her up. Get her even quicker and shred through those seven enemies. So Kermit, Animal and Goku, fantastic. Then have Clawhauser to heal. And then I guess you could have one more character who's... Maybe you could even put Mega on to link with Gogo. Because... If you're using Gogo, she's basically going to do everything for you. There's, there's no need to use any other characters. So my logic would be use four characters who could buff Gogo. And that would be one of the most incredible things that you could come up with. Because she is an absolutely crazy character. Absolutely crazy, guys. So I'm once again, I'm curious to know what you guys think. Do drop a comment down below, guys, and let me know. Bit of a shorter video today, today guys. You know, I don't, there's no need to track these videos on. I've reviewed the cat. I think she's awesome. I definitely tell you guys to recommend a few bits and pieces to save up to level her up. But yeah, I'll see all you beautiful people in the next one.